the devil figured that if I've been cast out and obviously my destination is hell, I don't want to die alone. As I'm going on earth, I'm going to make sure that I deceive those humans. I will be like a god to them. So when the devil came here on earth, because he knows that his time is short, and he made himself a promise or a promise to God that he was going to be like the Most High, he decided to create different religions. That's why you hear or you see today even the Christian religion itself is divided into different sectors that do not agree upon one thing. The Bible says there is only one God, one Lord, one mediator between men and God, one spirit, one baptism, but you will find people and churches within the Christian community that do not agree with that. Different Bibles have been created. Hallelujah. The devil is a master manipulator. The devil is full of devices, full of tricks, full of traps. The devil is the master of division. So if you are not sober, if you are not thinking biblically, you're going to be deceived. How many Christian groups do we have currently? We have the Baptist Church, we have the Catholic Church, we have the Mormonist Church, we have Jehovah Witness, we have the Protestant, we have the Prophetic, we have the Pentecostal, we have... Man, there is so many names or so many religious groups right now within the very Christian community that you will get tired of naming. Everybody wants to separate themselves, you know, somehow to make it seem like they are more special than the rest of the groups. Hallelujah. How can we be one body but yet you know we have so many groups within one body? It don't make any sense. It shows that we've been deceived at some point. I mean, forget within the Christian community, within the Christian religion. Talk about the world as a whole. How many religions do we have? How many religions do we have? How many religions do we have? 